Hi everyone, I'm Jiwa from Wiser Biker. So in today's video, I want to show you how to keep your bicycle drive train clean. Now, what is a drive train? A drive train is actually the system that transmits the power from your leg onto the bike into the moving motion. So uh, there are few key components of a drive train, and for our interest today, the key components that we'll focus on is the uh, crankset, is in particular the chain ring, the chain the derailers front and back as well as the cassette now why is it important to keep these components clean and that's because to have them clean regularly you can prolong their lifespan of these components and as well it will give you a smoother ride which means a better efficiency of transmitting your power into moving speed right some of you may think that bicycle cleaning is actually very difficult or time consuming or very dirty messy nasty all that but today i'm going to show you a you see it's not really a trade secret but uh it's something that will cost me a lot of money because i probably after showing you this i'll lose about 10 percent of my revenue but i will still show you a very condensed method of cleaning this drive chain and still have a and it still works very well has very good result and you can get it done within about 10 to 15 minutes okay so i'm ready i've got my wife's aprons on so let's see how to do it let's take a look at what are the things that we need for cleaning the drive train we need the chain tool and this is a chain tool that removes the chain with a quick release link this is a chain tool that helps you remove the chain that does not have a quick link you need a brush preferably a hard brush you can use your uh, old tooth brush at home if you don't have any specific tool some cloth or rag or paper towel for drying up or wiping up excess liquid i have a metal tray here for containing the degreaser you can use any other container that you can find and another tray i use to put clean water Next, you need the degreaser. I have both the aerosol degreaser as well as the liquid degreaser. And lastly, you also need a chain loop. After degreasing your chain, you need to lubricate them. Now here I have a latex glove that I use because I'll be touching a lot of uh, chemical as well as the grease and dirt. So I don't want to dirty my hand because it's really difficult to wash it off. Step one is to remove the chain from the bicycle. Then we can degrease it. Now removing the chain is good so that we can clean the chain more thoroughly. And at the same time, it will not obstruct us in cleaning the other components. So I will shift it to the lighter gear in the front. Just push your rear derailleur. Just push it forward so you can have some slack and you can remove the chain pretty easily okay now my chain is slack I can easily remove the quick link here my bike uses a quick link so I will soak the chain I will soak the chain into the degreaser that I have already prepared earlier on Then I'll use the hard brush to brush off the dirt on the chain. Now only the exterior, but most importantly, you want to brush off the dirt on the rollers and in between the chain links. You can see it's really dirty now. Now that I'm done washing it, scrubbing off all the uh, grease and dirt, I will wash away the degreaser with plain water. 
Now, as I'm using this, uh, this is a water-based biodegradable degreaser, liquid degreaser. That's why I am. I need to wash them off, and I can wash them off. There are some other degreasers that uh, do not require washing. So just take note of what are the product that you are using. Okay, when it's done, I'll just have to bring it up and dry it on a cloth. Now, a good indication is that you can see that your cloth, uh, my cloth here is not very dirty already. After I rub it, you can see there's still some dirt, but it should not be a lot, it should not be very dirty, right? So this is just to clean away, dry it up, dry up the train. Okay, so we've got a clean chain here and we'll just leave it aside here first. Alright, of course the best way to clean the rest of the components is also to strip them off and clean them thoroughly. But because of the constraint of time and we want to really do it with as little time as possible and yet achieve a good result, we use some um, trick here and that is a aerosol chain degreaser. So this aerosol type allows you to just spray onto them and it's very effective in washing away the dirt and the grease. So you see immediately, you can see that it becomes very clean. When you apply a little bit already, then you just brush it to just in case there are some um, degree, there are some grease and dirt that are too stubborn. So we will brush it off, which is why I like to use this type of uh, long, thin brush. So especially they are designed for brushing this cassette because you can go really into the different teeth and the gaps. Okay, done. You just wipe this off. This aerosol spray that we use, the degreaser is the non-water-based type of uh, degreaser. So it doesn't require you to wash it off with water. So again, just take note of the product that you are using and read the instruction of how to use them. For me, I just have to wipe them dry, that's all. The next part is the rear derailleur. But over here, all we really want to clean in a quick time is just the pulley wheels. You can just spray a little bit onto your cloth or your paper towel and just use it to wipe. Now this can be even uh, more efficient and effective because you can apply force with your fingers to rub off the dirt at the same time. Do the same for both of the pulley wheels. Now we move on to the front chain rings. It is just very simple. Do the same and you can see that you can actually it is very simple to rub off the dirt from the teeth. This will take you maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. The front derailleur usually isn't uh, won't be that dirty or not much grease on it, so it can be quite easy to just clean it off. Okay, do the same, just spray a little bit and rub it with a cloth. Okay, when you're done washing the cassette as well as the derailleurs, the chain rings, now you can actually put back the clean chain. So make sure that the chain runs correctly into the right position of the jockey wheel. So there is the guide here. So make sure you run properly and it should, the chain should wrap around the jockey wheels very nicely onto their teeth and it should not be scratching any of the metal parts okay uh, oh okay so for cradling it's really easy we just have to put it back one side each and join them click and pull now here usually some are easier to pull others are more tight like this so you can use your chain tool you can use the same chain tool now you just have to apply the force on the reverse direction and it's locked after that you just make sure that 
all the rollers are turning smoothly around it. After cleaning, it is very important to remember to lubricate your chain because once degreasing, when you do a degreasing, it means that you have removed all the lubricants inside the rollers of the chain. So you have to replace it with a fresh layer of lubricant so that it can run smoothly. I can just apply generously onto the rollers is where make sure that all the lubricants zip into the rollers. You can do it slowly and just make sure that every roller has got a good amount of lubricant on them and let them slowly zip inside. One of the reasons why I like this uh, squirt chain loop is also that since it's, it's, uh, it's white in color, it's very visible that I can see that the loop is actually been applied onto the rollers and it's actually sipping in. And I can know where exactly has not been looped and applied it there. Now I've got it all over on every roller. All I need to do is just let it sit for a while and apply another layer. Okay, so after it has dried, the first layer has dried up, I'm going to apply the second layer. Uh, it's exactly the same process. I just uh, slowly roll it and make sure that the lubricant goes into the rollers because that's where it matters most. All right, very clearly, very obviously, I can see that everywhere is already now filled with the lubricant. So let the second layer sit for a while and uh, before you write, just use the rag and uh, wipe off the excess in, and all those uh, loops that hasn't been dried. Uh, this is good practice because the excess lubricants will attract dust and dirt to stick onto it. So we just want to wipe off whatever that is not needed because whatever is needed has already gone into the rollers. Alright, so that is our very simple uh, version of cleaning your drivetrain. Of course, I want to reiterate to you that although this is not the um, most ideal cleaning, of course, we would want to thoroughly clean it by stripping it off and all that. But um, to make it really simple for you to do it at home, even though you're not a mechanic and using very simple products, uh, that's why we try to come up with very simple steps to help you and yet you can get a very good result out of this 10-15 minutes. Next, I want to give you some tips. So I've got a few tips for you to take note. Number one, uh, it is a good practice that after doing the cleaning here, wipe down your wheel set as well because in case your degreaser or your uh, chain loop splash or fall onto your rim, it will actually affect your braking. So that is one point and never let your degreaser touch your disc rotor or disc brake system in case your bike is using a disc brake system because that could contaminate the disc rotor as well as the disc brake pads and then you will get screeching sounds and you have to replace them so that would actually cost you, cost you a, quite a bomb. The second tip is to have a rag or a, a mat or like me I just use a very old cupboard to lay on the ground so that all the um, dirty water, dirty dirt, degreaser, they fall onto the floor and don't dirty your place. Okay, so just to maintain your home cleanliness. Now, the tip number three is about your chain. Now, do remember that when you use degreaser, you are actually washing away all the grease, which is also acts as a protective layer of your chain. So, if you wash them off, do remember to quickly dry them and apply lubricants to or uh, so that it can be protected again. Otherwise, a bare chain, is, which means a bare metal chain coming into contact with moisture in the air can cause it to rust pretty quickly. And the last tip I have for you is a very practical question that you may ask and that is when or how often should you do this? When should you do this? Now, of course, a rule of thumb, when you hear 
screeching sounds when you write like e -e 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 from your coming out from your chain or anywhere from the drive chain that is one indication that your um, the parts are actually too dry and leads to lubricants another telltale sign that your bike really needs a drive chain cleaning is when you start seeing dirty legs or when you simply touch your chain and get a very greasy and dirty finger okay i hope you see the um stark difference before and after i do this quick 10 15 minutes drive train cleaning and hopefully it can help you and if you do it at home by yourself see the difference for yourself and feel it okay go for a ride and you can feel how differently it works with a smoother and cleaner drive chain all right thank you very much for watching do remember to like and subscribe remember i need to make up for the 10 percent loss in revenue after i show you my trade secret